Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Zenith El Primero Windsor Annual Calendar. You can see this 42mm automatic winding El Primero Annual Calendar and purchase it on our website. And subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional high resolution images, accessories included, and naturally complete pricing details. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see there are two standout features of this watch. One, beautiful and timeless proportions and details, and two, modern dimensions, so it's not going to get lost on a huge wrist because it does have impressive stance at 50.5 millimeters from lug to lug and 14 millimeters in terms of height. But because of the particular shape of the lugs, the watch sort of guides itself, sort of drapes itself over the wrist, and you can see that to good advantage here. The lugs thrust down sharply as soon as they exit the flank of the case, which makes the watch very wearable on a smaller wrist like mine. Mine, 16 cent you could wear this watch with security and proportion and for that matter panache on a wrist down to as small as I believe 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. Now a note on height, although it is 14 millimeters thick, you'll note that the case flank is stepped, the bezel is conical and the sapphire is sloped almost as though this were deliberately designed to help a tighter sleeve or formal cuff get a running start up and over it. Normally I wouldn't say a 14 millimeter watch is very compatible with a dress cuff, but in this case, with the exception of you guys out there who button down to the second button, I believe this watch will be impeccably matched to formal attire and tight sleeves. Now there is a nice trick inherent in the design of the strap. First you can see the conforming and curved spring bars. These trace the flank of the case. It's aesthetically very pleasing. It's also superb because it has that pleasing effect without constraining the strap against the flank of the case. So if you're familiar with those straps that are basically pinned against the case and want to flare out and fight your wrist, not so here. Again, easily compatible with a smaller wrist. You'll note that on the underside of the brown monotone stitch rectangular scale alligator leather strap, Zenith graces the watch with a rubber inlay. Now this serves two purposes. First, it's just as smooth and supple as the more common calf skin, but second, it insulates the leather of the strap from skin oils, from heat, from sweat and grit to improve the longevity of the strap. Very clever. This is what you expect of Zenith and really it's what you should expect of all premium watchmaking. Now the watch features a sophisticated and beautifully polished double deployant clasp so it dodges the one pitfall of a single deployant which is that big up and over that can pinch a smaller wrist when buckled tight. It also features a built-in twin trigger system that uses the swing arm of one deployant side as the spring of the twin trigger system. So this ensures that the system can simply pop open, it's not friction fit, so it's not vulnerable in that sense. You'll also note that the watch features an immensely handsome case with beautiful sensuous compound curves on its high polished sides, but there are several strong character lines. You'll note the knife edge of the bezel give the watch a strong horizontal sweep and there's a robust bevel to each one of the individual lugs. Again, strength of character derives from these sharp edges. Small measures that take what's otherwise a very, like I said, sensuous, beautifully rounded case and impart masculinity to it. Now the dial is easily the star here. You can see the bezel's been minimized to open the dial for legibility. It dominates the geography of this watch. You'll also note a variety of finishes from circular and sort of circular engine turning, a brushed finish underneath the applied hours to clue to parry at the center, countersunk sub-registers for constant seconds and chronograph minutes respectively. Also, there's faceting and you can see steps to the windows for the day of the week, the month, and the date. And in fact, this is one of the few complications that's beautiful purely for its simplicity. Designed by Ludwig Oxlin, yes, he of the great Ulysse Norden Celestial and Calendar Complications, this annual calendar system features only nine additional parts. This really is a coincidence of watchmaking powerhouses, combining Zenith, the manufacturer of Le Loc, with Oxlin's technology. You get a 29 joule automatic winding, 52 hour power reserve, 10 beat per second El Primero with, again, a column wheel function selector, traditional finish, and you can see it really has a watchmaker's finish with alternately blued and polished screws. Blued screws are used to denote those screws used for adjustment of the mechanism. Polished screws uh, denote those screws used for assembly of the mechanism. It's a beautiful system that communicates aesthetic grace to the owner and mechanical logic to the man who works on it. As ever, the El Primero remains a screamer in the world of high horology and one of the standards of reference within the chronograph class. You can see this Zenith El Primero 
Windsor annual calendar and purchase it on our website.